I asked uh, Sculpture Depot to send me samples of clay, and uh, they did. And she sent me of uh, Chavant uh, uh, Le Beau Touche, I guess it is. I'm, I'm not certain how you pronounce that French uh, name. Um, and so I thought I'd take a look at these clays. What I thought I'd do is do a little demonstration with uh, one of these clays, the one that the one that feels the best to my hands. That is. Now, if you go onto their website, uh, SculptureDepot.net, uh, you can order this clay, and uh, and purchase uh, uh, this clay. This not this high melt clay. What that means is that you can use this clay in very hot climates, like if you're in the tropics, uh, anything above 90 degrees, it will not affect the clay. Um, some of these clays are affected by heat, uh, these uh, clays here, and the higher the heat, uh, the softer the clay becomes and it almost becomes melty. Uh, you can't, uh, you have to be very careful when you transport um, the other kind of clays because um, when you're transporting your clay, like I go across country with them, and if I break down in the middle of summer, um, I, I'm in big trouble because the clay will start falling off the armature and melting. But this clay here, this uh, uh, Chavant Plastiline, uh, is uh, high melt, which means it takes a lot of heat, a lot of heat, to uh, melt this. And so this sounds like a very good deal here. I like the gray color too. But anyway, I'm going to sculpt a bust just to uh, experiment with this clay and see how well it works. All right, I noticed one thing. The clay doesn't have a real smell to it. I mean, it has a slight smell, but not offensive smell. I, it, some clays overwhelm you with uh, their smell. All right, I'm going to... I uh, don't know what I'm going to do yet. I just thought I'd do something as a demonstration. Now the damn camera went off, and I didn't know what, I don't know where it went off at, but uh, I'll just have to pick it up wherever it is that it left off. I never know, if, if I'm not listening, I won't hear the uh, little beep beep when it shuts itself off. It only has a 20 minute uh, time frame. Alright, I'm just... Uh, Adding clay, I, I, the camera went off, and I didn't realize it until uh, I was well into the presenting of this piece. But uh, what I start out with, uh, I start out with a profile, and then I just start building up the sides of the uh, head. Here I'm just taking the measurements to plot out the eye sockets and, and stuff like that. Um, I apologize for the lack of video on the beginning of this, because... Well, I didn't hear the little beep when the camera turned itself off. <laughs> anyway. Still not sure what I'm going to do. I think what I'm going to do is a maybe an old mountain man head. I haven't done a mountain man in a long time. And it just feels good to take a little break from uh, what I've been working on to just do something a little different for a day. For those of you who watch a lot of my videos, you see that I always start with a nose after I've dug out the uh, eye socket. And I'm just establishing kind of like the personality of whatever it is I'm thinking about doing. I had this clay under the light, and I'm telling you, it would normally be completely melted. But it's very soft. It's very pliable. It feels great in the hand. I like this clay. You do have to study anatomy if you want to uh, sculpt something that looks like a human being. What I'm using right now is this uh, model that I bought. It's it's part of a full figure that's uh, a half skeleton and and half uh, muscle, and uh, it really helps in uh, seeing and and as a reference for uh, the size. Now this is this is the uh, size I'm making is what I'm looking at right here. So I'm scaling it to the size of the actual uh, model of the head and I saw already that I just have to increase the top of his head just a little bit ago.
it, it I mean the better your your uh, reference material the better your work will be it's just like the tools that you use the better the tools the better your your sculptures will be or your paintings will be or your drawings will be everything depends on tools now see I'm intending to do a beard on this guy and that, for that reason I'm not going into great detail on the lips and the mouth because there's no need because it'll all be covered by the the mustache once again I'm using the uh, Chavant high melt uh, clay What I'm going to create with this is uh, just basically what the two, t two pound block uh, allows me to create. And uh, we'll see how much of this I'm just locking in the eyeball here.
Well, that gives you an idea what you can do with two pounds of clay. And this is how much of that two pound block I have left right here. So you can do quite a bit. I'm going to uh, set this aside because I'm running out of clay. And um, not sure I'm going to do anything with this. Maybe just tear it up for part or something. But uh, kind of a neat little face. Maybe I'll do something with it later. Give me some more of this uh, gray material here and work something out with it. Just not sure what. <laughs> anyway, make a nice little bust. All right, that'll do it for today. And uh, I'll be back here uh, tomorrow with some more work and uh, get back on to uh, down the ridge line. And I'm going to set this one aside. Have a great night, everybody. Get this uh, clay, this uh, Chavant HM, or high-melt clay. It's really nice clay.